Dahlia's Wondrous Hair, written by Laura Lacamara. Dahlia's Wondrous Hair. As Dahlia slept, cuddled up in her mama's cool silken sheet, her hair was unfolding and growing by the time the rooster crowed. Cock -a -doo -doo -doo. Her hair had grown straight up to the sky, as tall and thick as a Cuban royal palm tree. Dahlia blinked her sleepy eyes and looked up at her hair. Mama, look! Hey, that's quite a head of hair you got, her mama said. What are you going to do with it? Something big, thought Dahlia. Then, as she looked out at the flowers blooming in her mama's garden, an idea sprouted in inside her. Wait here, Mama, Dahlia said, and she ran off into the forest. Dahlia adorned her hair with wild tamarind, violet, and kunti leaves, cradling the special ones in the palm of her hand and burying them deep in her hair. Dahlia ran back home calling, Mama, look, guess what kind of tree I am. When Dahlia ran past Senora Dominguez, bent over her broom, the lady cried, your daughter's bringing the forest with her. Mama looked up from her garden and replied, and what could be finer? Dahlia giggled and made her mama crown with the fall and made her mama a crown with the fallen leaves. Now, guess what kind of tree I am, mama? Hmm, let's see, mama said. A leaf dropping hair tree? No, that's not it. Then Dahlia thought, wait, wait here, mama. And she ran off to the marsh. Dahlia patted the cool, squishy mud into her hair. There, that ought to keep things in place, she thought. Dahlia ran back to Mama. Whew. And on the way, she met Senora Soledad, working in the sugarcane field with her twin girls, Lena and Nali. I guessed Senora Soledad when she saw Dahlia. What a tall, filthy mess. Do you want me to take care of that, she said, offering her machete. Dahlia's mama overheard and dashed outside. No, thank you, Senora Soledad, she said. My daughter's hair is just fine the way... <gasps> her nose crinkled at the swampy smell. You were saying, said Senora Soledad. I need it, look, cried Nina. There's something moving in there. Worms, yelled Nolly. They're not worms, Dahlia laughed and skipped away. That evening, Dahlia's mama said, Are you a leaf-crusted mud tree? No, mama, that's not it. <laughs> her mama sighed and handed Dahlia a bottle of her special moonflower shampoo. Maybe it's time, she said. Mama, no, not yet, begged Dahlia. Tomorrow, you can guess what kind of tree I am. All right, Dahlia, one more day, her mama said, holding her nose as she kissed her daughter goodnight. That night, Dahlia slept, and she sensed something stirring and unfolding in her hair. By the time the rooster crowed, cock -do 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 -do, Dahlia ran outside and shouted, hurry, mama, it's time. As her mama stepped outside, so did the neighbors. You scared my chickens, squawked Senora Dominguez. You woke the twins, scolded Senora Soledad. But when Dahlia stood in the middle of the garden, the entire world got quiet. Ready, mama? Dahlia whispered. Dahlia carefully unwrapped the silk cocoon from around her towering hair. Clumps of dried mud and leaves fell to the ground as she finished peeling off the sheet. Dahlia's mama spotted the first butterfly as it wriggled away out of Dahlia's hair and opened its wings. And opened its wings. Mira, look! Mama gasped. Just then, another butterfly spread her wings and another and another. Soon, the sky became a dazzling quilt of butterfly wings. Lifting her head, Senora Dominga stood taller than she had in years. As the twins ran around flapping their arms, Senora Soledad stood stunned by the wing pattern of the butterfly poised on her finger. Dahlia's mama turned to her daughter.
You're my beautiful blossoming butterfly tree. You guessed. Daya hugged her mama and they both laughed. <laughs> As the butterflies danced in the garden, the neighbors huddled together and made plans for a spring picnic in honor of Dahlia and her wondrous hair. Dahlia's mama picked a white butterfly lily just for Dahlia. Dahlia's wondrous hair. Before putting the flower in her hair, Dahlia heard buzzing. As she watched, a bee dined on the lily's nectar. Dahlia got another idea. Mama, do you like honey? <laughs> the end. This is a note from the author, and it has a glossary. It explains some of the words you might not have known, and gives you a definition for those words. Here's a page that tells how you can create your own butterfly garden at home. You can also read about the author, Laura Lacamara. The end.